Coming up in this video, I've got a quick review of Lamb's Spiced Rum. Uh, I'll tell you why I'm doing that in a bit. Uh, I've got a quick review. I'm going to tell you what it tastes like, what it smells like. My simple highball uh, recommendations, what mixers work well with this. And then coming up at the end, I've got some simple cocktail recipes. So if you want to know a bit more about Lamb's Spiced, stay tuned. Hey Spiced Rum fans, I'm Steve the Barman and I'm hoping these videos will help you drink, serve and enjoy better quality spiced rums. That's what I'm all about at the moment. I love my spiced rums. If you loved your spiced rums as well, make sure you hit me up in the comments below. Drop me a comment, tell me what you think about the rums. Tell me rums, spiced rums that you want me to feature in the future or what your recommended uh, simple highballs and cocktail recipes are. Let's have a conversation, hit me up in the comments below. Right then, let's crack on, let's dive straight into it. This is Lamb's Spiced Rum Spirit Drink. I have to say that because legally it's not a rum anymore. Uh, Pernod Ricard have relaunched it earlier this year, 2019. They have reformulated the flavor, they've reformulated the ABV. So it's now a 30% spiced rum spirit drink. It legally can't be classified as a rum because it's not 37.5% ABV anymore, which means the flavor will have also changed as well. However, with the rebrand and the new lower ABV, we have got a kind of little cool uh, sort of snake on the uh, on the front of the bottle there. We have got a little bit of a, a marketing story on the back, so I'm just going to quickly read you, read you the back of the bottle. One of the many obstacles Alfred Lamb faced, and it is Alfred Lamb's rum, uh, was one of the many obstacles Alfred Lamb faced on his quest to find a Caribbean spirit was the serpent, the snake. Uh, but who could blame the serpent for protecting the sweet vanilla, cinnamon, and subtle ginger spiced flavors? And that is it. So we've got a serpent uh, that is basically protecting the rum. That is their marketing story. Now I'm looking forward to trying this. I have not tried this new liquid. In fact, the last time I had lambs was probably about 2014, 2015. So nearly a good five years. Previous guys for me was more concentrated on that, as I mentioned, that kind of vanilla and ginger kind of thing. It went very well with apple juice. Not for me, not so well with cola. Uh, however, this, the whole rebrand, uh, according to Perno Ricard, they are trying to go for both male and female markets, uh, kind of the younger generation, up to sort of 35 years old. That's what uh, that's going for. I'm 42. I don't care whether they're going for people younger than me. I'm going to crack it open and see what it smells like. So straight away on the nose, the big two flavours there for me are vanilla and kind of citrus. I'm not saying it lime, but I'm getting quite a lot of citrus coming out there. A big mix of uh, sort of citrus orange, uh, maybe some few tropical notes, but it's definitely out and out vanilla. There may also be some subtle notes of kind of cinnamon in the background there, maybe a bit of nutmeg, but it is really overpowered by the vanilla. So it's a big vanilla smelling spiced rum. So what does it taste like? Well, for me, it's actually a lot nicer than what I was actually expecting. I was, I was expecting, for the few little bits I've read from other people, I was expecting this to be really sort of syrupy sweet. It is sweet, but not as sweet as I was expecting. Uh, vanilla, out and out vanilla. There's a subtle hint of sort of some peppery sort of spice going in the back there. But I'll be honest, I don't get too much in the, in the way of other spices. I don't get too much cinnamon, too much nutmeg anything like that in there. It was just vanilla forwards with a little bit of citrus in the background. But I tell you, at 30% ABV, that is actually quite a pleasant drink um, to drink neat. I would quite happily sip that over ice. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm looking forward to tasting this. I'm not sure whether, I don't think that's sort of similar as it was, as in it went with apple juice and ginger beer and things like that. I'm gonna try it in a bit. Uh, for me, back in those days, it was more that side of things than it was Coke, but I've got a funny feeling this might change a little bit. However, price point, at £12 a bottle, you really can't argue with that as a spiced rum for £12. Right then, so I've had a little play. What does this work well with? Well, I think it has gone more towards the cola end of the market. I think the colas were a lot better than the other mixers. So, Lambs and Coke, again, 
I think you cannot go wrong with that. I haven't tried it with any of these signature mixers. I just went straight for normal Coca-Cola, the Coke Zero, that's what I prefer. Again, very pleasant drink, a little bit sweeter, it kind of makes a lovely sort of vanilla Coke, if you like. So that's that one. Next up is the ginger beer. I actually quite like that with ginger beer. And uh, I have mentioned it, but apple juice as well as a little sort of side thing. Uh, I did, I haven't used it with this one. I actually made it up with, I've got some Waitrose apple juice, pressed apple juice open. So I tried it with that one. Uh, apple and ginger does work okay with that. Not as nice for me as it was because it is a little bit sweeter and I think the alcohol, um, the stronger previous version, did kick through. But you know what? Apple and ginger is quite a nice mixer for that. And then the final one I'm going to recommend to you is Fentiman's Tropical Soda. The pineapple notes go well with the vanilla. It just works very, very well. It's just, you it, know, it, it's not a fancy drink. It's just a really nice drink. But I think my favourite would have to be the whole sort of spiced rum, coke, vanilla coke thing. It just works a treat. As I mentioned, 12 pound a bottle. You really can't go wrong if you love your sort of spiced rums, your easy going spiced rums with coke. Right, cocktail time. Uh, I've got a couple of decent, uh, really fun cocktails actually to make with this. Uh, the first one I'm gonna do here on the YouTube and uh, for the very quick, simple uh, other cocktails, I've got two others to show you. Uh, stay tuned to my Instagram account, IGTV. I'm posting uh, sort of this shorter, very quick uh, cocktail videos on there. So with the first one we're going to, uh, in this one, it's kind of a flip on a porn star martini with spiced rum. First ingredient, you want 50 ml of lamb's spiced rum and pour it straight into your shaker. Your second ingredient is Pessoa, you just want 25 ml and this is a passion fruit liqueur if you've not seen that before. Your third ingredient is some fresh lime juice and you want 15 ml, one five. Now, as that's quite a vanilla-y and a sweeter uh, rum, you don't need any vanilla sugar that I would normally use in the porn star martini or any other sweetness, it's just that. So we're going for the passion fruit now. And you just want 25 ml, and this is the passion fruit puree I use. This is ODK, long life, shelf stable for three months after opening, but shelf stable for nine months before that, I think, if not longer. And you just want 25 ml. And then the final ingredient you want is, I'm gonna use pineapple juice in this. Uh, it's just, just the normal pineapple juice, uh, just to count it into a bottle to make life easy for me on events. You just want 50 ml. Fill your shaker with ice. Pop your tin on, and then you just wanna shake for about 10 to 12 seconds. And then I'm just gonna double strain into a nice chilled um, martini or, or coupe glass. And then to garnish, I'm just gonna use half a passion fruit. And you could do all kinds of cool things. You could set fire to it or do whatever. But that is my flip on a porn star martini. It's my lamb's spiced porn star martini i'm crap at naming cocktails but there you go hope you like that enjoy cheers